when you speak dog, you get a calm dog, and you're a happy owner. Barkbusters, the better way to a better dog. So I want to do a, a video here to basically kind of go over what is it, what it is that I do on a day to day basis to make sure that my guy Theodore here, hey, hey buddy, yeah, that you are in a calm, relax. Thank you, uh, thank you, that you are in a calm, relaxed state of mind, right? So I'm going to kind of walk you through everything from getting the leash and collar on, going out, going out for a walk, and then even coming back inside the areas and the spaces that I use that I claim to make sure that he is remaining calm and relaxed, that he's staying, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thanks buddy, that he's staying nice and calm and relaxed in that green zone, which is where I want him living his life. So here we go. I have an opportunity at this point to do the door exercise here, to say that word, close the door. Now I'm up here, I already have my my uh, bags, my dog likes to do something that's really diabolical. He likes to poop, but then poop again. Um, don't worry, we won't be filming that, but all things been equal, better to have too many poops bags than too few. Uh, then we get our glasses on. I get my leash and collar here. Because I walk my dog on my left, I'm gonna hold the leash and the logo all in my left hand with that chain in the 12 o'clock position. And I'm just going to slide that right on his head. So that way, looking at him, the leash and the logo will be on my left side with that chain in the 12 o'clock position. Come on, The walk has officially begun. So as I start the walk to the, walk to the door, I'm going to see if I can't take advantage of any credits that might be presenting its way. Now, Theodore is really good on the leash. I mean, really good. So I'm just going to be pointing out these opportunities where we can claim our credits, build up our dog training bank account, so that way if we're faced with a level 10 event, something that will cost 10 units, right, level 10, red zone, level 10, if we find that we have an event like that approaching us, we have the credits in our dog, tra dog training account to take care of it. So as I'm walking my way to the door, I have an opportunity to claim some credits right here. We come to the door. We're gonna do that door exercise. We just claimed another credit by doing that. Then we come on out. We close our door. And now we're out walking. And basically, at any point, I can claim a credit. <phone rings> claim the credit, I look down at my toes, my toes are in front of my dog's toes, so I must be leading the walk. I continue to go. This island is typically where we let him do his business, so we come to the area, we relax the leash, and again, as I share with you, we don't want to be following our dog when our dog is doing the whole sniff thing, right? We're just coming to a stop. We're not following. Don't worry, I'm not going to film anything either. We come to a stop. We're not going to follow him. Yep. And he's not doing anything, so we're moving on. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, that every time I come to a mailbox... I have an opportunity to claim a credit. So as I'm approaching this mailbox, this credit appears, and now I'm going to claim the credit by speaking dog. I look down at my toes, I'm in front of my dog, my dog is calm and relaxed, I just claim the credit, I'm training my dog in the green zone so I don't go bankrupt in the red. And now I keep walking. Let's just say between these upcoming palm trees, I wanna claim a credit. See, so here comes the, here's the gold coin. I claim the credit. I speak dog. 
I relax the leash, he's behind me, I'm leading the way. And now I keep walking. Again, because there's nothing going on, this is a great opportunity to train your dog. Train in the green, or you will go bankrupt in the red. So now let me try to do a back leash exercise. So I'm gonna cut behind, and Theodore's very smart to that. He comes back to me, so what did I just do? Exactly, I claimed a credit, and I'm walking on. As we're walking, we're coming up close to an opportunity, again, to train in the green zone. So I'm gonna make a quick left-hand turn and start walking back on the sidewalk, so I'm gonna speak dog. I'm gonna pick up my coin, because my dog's not challenging, not getting in front of me. I'm still leading the way. And again, I keep walking. Back to the home. We come on on up here. We're coming back to the home. I wanna to try to pick up a couple more coins, so I'm gonna stop, pick up a coin. Why? Well, because my toes are in front of my dog. I'm leading the walk. So we just picked up another coin. Now we're coming on up to the door. All right, I'm gonna be entering my code in. Now I do the door exercise. Say the word, close the door. Make sure that my dog is in the green zone. Nice big yawn, pretty sure he's in the green zone. Yeah, he's in the green zone. Now we come on in. I'm now in the home. Come around, I close the door. Because my dog is in the green zone and I've been working on it, typically what he does, he just comes right on in and he sits down. That's right, buddy, you were a big help today, okay? You were a big help, thank you very much. So train in the green zone and we won't have any problems. So I'm wrapping up. I'm gonna take everything off my dog. And now I just have to put everything away. But before I do, I'm gonna let him know that it's okay for him to be out and about and go do his thing. Free! And typically what happens, he goes and checks out his food bowls because he's a very optimistic dog. So now that we're back inside the home, I just wanna kinda of go over the opportunities that we have to go about claiming and how we really need to do the very best we can to weave claiming and any kind of door exercises into our daily routine. So I have um, just removed Theodore's leash and collar. So now I'm gonna go basically through my routine about uh, putting everything away. And I'm gonna be pointing out the areas in my home where I can claim space and do and perform the door exercise and in general, continue to weave these exercises in and out of my daily routine. So that way I'm putting all kinds of credits into my dog training account. So that way when my dog sees something that really triggers him, in his particular case, he really doesn't like golf carts. So that way when he sees a golf cart, I have money in the account to go pay for that 10 unit event. Okay, so here we go. So here we go, I'm in the home, I'm walking by, I have my leash and collar coming in. Hey, we have another door. So again, we're gonna open this door just an inch, we're gonna say that word, we're gonna shut the door. This is an opportunity to perform the door exercise, the door control exercise. We open everything up, I got my rack, I hang everything back up, take my hat, Put my hat back up, and now I'm on my way. Close the door. Now typically what happens is I come in in the kitchen. So right about here, here's a great opportunity to perform a claiming exercise. Whether your dog is near you or not, we can do the claiming exercise. So again, we pick up that free coin, and now we're in the kitchen. And now we can be in the kitchen. Hey, maybe we brush up on our book, which is available on our website and on Amazon. Or, hey, now we're in the kitchen. and Maybe we're taking our supplements, right? We're getting our supplements ready to go to the gym or just throughout the day. Maybe we're getting coffee ready. 
but now we're claiming this area. But because we picked up our free money right here, again, we can pick up free money again. We can pick up that free money. We're putting deposits into our dog training account. So for the purposes of my home, my kitchen boundary is about here. This is where all my coins lay. And when I'm in the kitchen, it's about here. As I'm moving towards the fridge, I can be performing the door exercise again. And then if need be, I can claim this area as well. Again, picking up more free money, picking up these one unit credits. So that way, if I'm faced with a level 10 event, I have money in my dog training account to pay for that. So typically what happens is that Theodore ends up laying down right about here whenever we're getting food ready in the kitchen. But we can come in, we can claim the kitchen. If we're eating at the table, before we come to the table, this is our area where the table is. So before we come into the kitchen, that's right, we have some fr we have free money here. We got we have credits right here. So we're going to pick those up too. And now we're sitting down at the table. Now the boundary line is about here. If Theodore starts to come in the area, we can stand up and again, we can claim the area. Otherwise, hey, now we're sitting down at the table and we wanna keep him away, why? Well, it's not that I mind loving on my dog or even quite honestly, giving my dog human food. It's a case of, I want him calm and relaxed when he comes in and equally important, I want him invited. Here's another opportunity to perform the door exercise. If I'm letting him out, we're gonna open the door just about an inch. We're gonna say that word and bam, that's free money. And then when he's calm, I step on out, I invite him out. Now sometimes even though I have a dog door, I like coming all the way out here and I do the door exercise here. I open it about an inch or so, say that word, shut it. And again, what's that? That's free money. Other times, Theodore typically just goes through his door. Now, if you don't have a dog door, well, you got your free money right here. Then when I'm letting him back in, because sometimes my dog door gets stuck and sometimes my dog is lazy, he likes to be let in. So I come back here and again, free money. We perform the door exercise again. As we're coming back inside the home, we're coming on over here and again, we're doing the door exercise. Again, what's that? That's free money. We're putting money into the dog training account. That's all we're doing. We come on in. We then can invite him on in. Close everything up. Secure everything. That's the dad in me, I guess. And now I am, if I'm entering in the area here, this is another opportunity where I can claim my space. So as I cross this threshold, again, what's lying here? Well, free money. So I pick up that token, I pick up that credit, and now I'm worried about the following boundary line. I'm worried about this boundary line here. So there's a token sitting over here. I'm worried about this area right here. There's a token sitting right over here. And again, I'm also concerned about, hey, there's another token sitting right about here. But because I claim the token coming in, I've established that this is my area and I should be able to hang out here and chill without any problems. And if my dog comes in, well, then I claim the space. I pick up a token, pick up a token, or pick up a token. If I'm coming, if I'm leaving the area, let's say I'm going to the bathroom, well, I can claim this area here. So again, here lies another token. I can go into my, well, go into the office, so to speak. And again, we have another token right here. Once we're all finished, we can come back up. And what are we faced with again? If we're going to continue watching movies and things like that, spending time with a the family, then we can, again, claim another token. We come back on in here. And no matter where I'm sitting, I can claim the space. So there we go. Oh, looks like Theodore left me a note. Train in the green or you'll be in the red. Love Theodore. That's very nice of him.
Obviously, we don't want to be in the red. We want to be in the green. The more that you can weave these exercises into your home, the more times that you're claiming space when there's nothing going on, the easier time you'll have of dealing with your level, your red level events, your, your level 10 events, whatever those events are, whether they be separation anxiety, thunderstorms, fireworks, in my dog's case, golf carts, right? Things like that. The more that we can weave these exercises in our routine, the more that we're training in the green, the less that we will be in the red. I hope this video helps. As always, if you have any questions, please call me right away. We are happy to be of service. Bark Busters, the better way to a better dog, guaranteed. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified of every new video. If you have any questions about training, please contact your BarkBusters trainer. Thank you.